Hello everyone and welcome back to my JAXA RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. Uh, well, I put my Tanagashima scenery in. It needs some work, but uh, at least the buildings are clickable. <laughs> and hopefully when we bring our rocket out onto launch pad, it's not going to be a problem. And the runway is mostly clear. Uh, there is some of the default terrain clipping through those, so I'm going to have to do some touch-ups. But, I mean, it's just difficult sometimes. But anyway... We've got the uncrewed lunar surface exploration program, so we need to do a lunar landing with a probe, and soon. Uh, well, not that soon, I guess. Soon enough. And then there's a deprecated crewed orbit program. Uh, we've done the orbital test flight uncrewed. We just need to do the orbital flight crewed now. Uh, well, there's a crewed orbiter, I mean, sorry, lunar orbiter and mapper mission. Level 2 visible imaging device. And then there's a lunar landing mission. So we've got this tank. But maybe we can just do with one engine for probe stuff. For the probe stuff. That's a 0.45 thrust to weight ratio though. That's probably why I had two of them. <laughs> Pad limit is 75 tons. Gotta love these little thrusters. That seems like it might be a little bit big for our little stage here though. Or the entire rocket. Hmm. So, we're gonna be doing this... It's not the lander, it's this lunar orbiter. Let's see what we really need. Visible imaging. Level 2. I guess that's this basic TV camera. I'll be a good Kerbal and actually try and put it on, maybe? I know I could put it inside the core. We could just have it, but it's sort of boring like that, isn't it? I don't know. We can just use the antenna on this, maybe. Yeah, we, we've got a line from the moon with 30 decibel milliwatts. So we're planning to use this stage and that stage a little bit in order to transfer and then 800 from that stage to get into orbit. If that's possible. Let me see if we've got enough Delta V in the launcher though. Oh, we don't have a center node in this case. Let's have three engines then. That doesn't seem like enough though. Over the parameters. We do have to get into a fairly tight orbit around the moon. Well, allow me to reconsider this business here. <laughs> Maybe we're carrying too much. We, we should just carry the camera. I mean, I guess we can go cheap and just put the camera inside. But anyway, let me just stick to just what we absolutely need here. This stage is very overburdened. What if we just used it directly instead of instead of this thing? I doubt that's going to work, but what if we had a one-ton controller here? Well, this stage was definitely not providing too much help. The camera stuff is going to be done pretty quickly. One uh yeah, one hour only. So, we don't need to last very long. Iffy, but we could... That's 23 minutes of burn time, though. Uh, you were you were a one. Let's go for a bigger one, then. 1.2 tons. Can the rest of this get that 1.2 tons to orbit, though? Maybe this little guy getting snuck in. Would that be a good idea? To stage it? Again? Oh, maybe without the controller? Well, okay. Yes, we'll see if that works. Uh, 
Okay. Barely. All right. SAS on. Thrall is up. And I guess we'll find out. Ignition. Launch. Okay, booster set. Eight minute upper stage. Not much thrust weight ratio. Okay, we have the upper stage. I don't know where I put the RCS propellant for that. Oh, that's a very little electric charge there. <laughs> And it has stuff it doesn't need, that core. Hmm. It's gonna be very tight, so... Having extra stuff is not ideal. This isn't gonna be enough. Close, but not quite. Well, we'll try and get it there. I guess we'll go with that. It's a little bit late, though. Whatever, I'm tired of this. Go! Maybe the decoupler will have extra force. Well, it was a little bit of a kick from the little decoupler, but not enough of a kick. Capstock, maybe? Okay. Oi! Why don't we have comms? We better get comms when we get closer. Oh, okay. Jeez. Our comm situation is rather tight. <laughs> well, I guess... Oh, we, we were higher up than I thought, but... Let's turn it into a comm set. Well, we'll save that much to spin up. Oriented fine. Well, seems to have already done visible imaging around here. So just a comm set. Okay, we'll leave it be though. Back to Space Center. So, let's see what else we can squeeze out of our launcher. Don't suppose we have better boosters. <laughs> uh... There's these sea level ones. Oh, you know what? That's much better, isn't it? It's the same mass. Even the sea level one is better than the vacuum of this. Fine. Okay. Okay, but we can remove those stupid instruments from this thing. And th these were using helium? No, they were using MH1. It's fine. We probably don't even need them, but... Well, we won't deny the existence of the previous one. This will be Usagi 5. I guess it'll be alright. I mean, we could squeeze a little bit more now out of those two, it looks like. Trying to figure out if we've gotten enough extra or not is tough. And it's nighttime again. Probably will be for a bit before the moon. Okay, throttle up, SAS is on, and ignition. And launch. That staging that comes next doesn't look right. Okay, booster set. There was a lot left over, though, of the PSPC. I object. I don't know, it doesn't seem all that much better. Uh, 
we somehow ended up in a bad position. This is not helpful though, it's gonna be another comm set. I guess we can tilt it then. That'll probably be better. One seventeen minute this is getting really like the Indian sort of thing where you have to do multiple burns. Two tons. Did we have a prior two ton one? Four ton only. That two t that's really expensive. No, between 1.2 and 4 is not that big a difference. I think we're gonna go for the two engine one again. Make use of that 10 ton controller. Well, let's get the fairings on. But if we go beyond 75 tons, we also have to have a bigger controller. Hmm. Should we have like six? Maybe there should be three air start ones. Our Delta V has gone down. <laughs> Uh, but we have a 360 ton controller available. I won't have to retool that one, but it's a lot heavier. See, 75, it's like double the mass. So that's okay. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh, we had tooled the N5 controller. We had previously on this been using an N3 controller. So it's actually lighter than I thought it would be. Bad. But it's currently reading uh, less Delta V than we had before. So... <laughs> I mean, if, it, if it's wrong, right? Right? It's because it doesn't understand the SRB air lighting thing, right? Oh, uh, the air lit ones can be the vacuum ones, I suppose. Maximum tonnage, 101. Okay. I guess. Renovate costs 4,543. Fine. We'll try that. This will be Usagi 6. But I don't know right now whether we have any... I mean, I assume we have some benefit from this. But then again, we're carrying extra boosters for extra time. Maybe that's not the best policy. Okay, well, throttle up. Ignition. And launch. Please give us a nice boost. Okay, well that's those. Okay, bearings are going off, now you have avionics. It's still tight. <laughs> well, we'll probably pick up Kano. Okay, but our periapsis is really... Well, we're going up though, that's fine. Now, collect science of on at least one biome is gotta be tricky because um, I think we've got all the visible science already. 
So we're probably gonna have to force that. We probably ought to use that much that amount, but this probably gotta take too long too. Definitely gotta take too long. Oh, uh, okay, that was fast. No, we don't have backward facing thrusters. I guess this is all right. Okay. Off we go. Okay, can we get to below 500 kilometers? Already check mark the collect science in at least one biome, so hopefully that's okay. Oh, were we too high up? We should have captured lower. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> I should have gone lower. Ah, I hate this contract. <laughs> it's still 8,600. Is it better to have it like this or is it better to have the boosters? Okay, uh, let's see what we have in the tech tree that could help us here. RCS technology level three. I mean, that affects everything, right? Okay, well, yeah, we'll just build another one of these. That we could also build a lander, but we can design a lander. Maybe this can be a moon lander. Well, eventually we'll have the next level, but we don't have it right now. I'm not seeing how that lands. Hmm. I'm not using maturity, to be honest, because we'll, we're going to have to tool that again. I don't know. We, uh, we're really hampered here. Maybe we should just use another one of the AJ-10 Hydrolox editions. Why was there hydrogen and oxygen already here? Oh, the fuel cells. Oh, okay. Hold on. We've got a problem. No wonder is it's not working out. We've got fuel cell fuel. Okay, I mean, is it better just to not have that stage? It's pretty close again, as usual. 5,060, okay. We'd have to put some extra RCS fuel though. And then this, if we size it to four tons. Well, it seems like an extra 450 though. So we have 40 tons of room here. And I'm not feeling it as far as Delta V is concerned. Because we need 9,000, let's say. I mean, uh, 9,500, let's say, just to be safe, to make orbit. And then 3,100 to transfer, so that's 12,600. And that leaves us with 2,800 to capture and then land. It's sort of okay, but I, I've had a lot of really tight things today, <laughs> which didn't work out for me. Things where I was only 100 meters per second off or something like that. So maybe we should tuck in some caster ones as well. Or hoots. 
I don't know if that'll drag the whole thing down or not, or whether it's a good idea. Okay, well, we'll try it. Uh, not Vegas launch. Lunar lander launch. In theory, I guess we would fulfill the other contract at the same time with this. It's just a bigger rocket. Right? Because... Oh, uh, that's crude. This is just getting into a low orbit with that camera, and we've got the camera. And... I guess we're okay? Maybe? Who knows? Ignition! And launch! It's not as frisky as I thought it would be. So much stockland poking out, darn it. I think they're done, right? Not really thrilled with this stage, but I guess it'll have to do for now. I don't like the stage, but... At least uh, these puppies have like 18 ignitions, I guess? So... There's that. Well, okay. We'll just do a mid-course correction. Okay, ignition. Well, I'll get avionics eventually. Don't know why I didn't have it, but... I'm feeling like we're going to end up with almost exactly the right amount. Oh, well, not exactly. Okay. Some extra, apparently. I guess we'll go now. Well, that periapsis doesn't look like... Well, yeah, it's borderline again. Okay. Lander time. Okay, that'll be good enough for a landing. And it's good enough for their thing, too. Okay, so we've got that done after all those tries. We just have to land now. So. Unfortunately, the lit side of the moon is um, opposite of Earth. So we are landing in the dark. Well... Well, if we actually land right now, the horizon might get in the way. I don't know. Maybe if we start now. Okay, let's get an initial path. Think it'll be alright to keep running like this? Suicide burn countdown, I better read right. Because this is. This is looking more suicide y than I was expecting. Slope. Uh, 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 why? No, stop. Good landing gear. That's some lean. That's some lean. Okay. Transmit science. Fine. We are running. And sliding.
It was risky time warping <laughs> when we're like this, but... Okay, we fulfilled it. We gotta come out of time... It's came out of time warp? Okay, we'll get the rest of it. Okay, we got all the sciences. And we got both contracts fulfilled. It's amazing! Okay, back to Space Center. <laughs>